Dear July, I'm glad the last 12 months between us have been less traumatic than the 12 before. I've got some new scars, old dreams, and about half a dozen circadian rhythms. Rhythmia? Anyway, here we are, writing the same story about the same boy in high school who's lost his mother. 157,000 words in and nearly 10 years on, it doesn't really seem to mean as much as I thought it would. Everything always seemed more straightforward when it was out of my control. And I can't help feeling like I need a real job. I need to move out. I need to start my life or something. But that's God's swallow. This is my life. It's two decades in, I need to stop counting and make it count. I can't save it for later. Sometimes it feels like the world is happening inside my room and I worry about what I'm missing out on. Heather says it'll still be there when I get back. Send my love to the other months. Till next time. <clears throat> P.S. I lost my voice around the end of June and she hasn't given it all back yet, so if you could talk to her about that, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks.